Hello, it's Philip Taylor speaking from Richmond Green Chambers in London. This morning I'm looking at a book from the Child Poverty Action Group. It's an important organisation and I review all of their works because they are so important for us as lawyers and advisors and also for the wide number of people who are affected within the wider scope of welfare law itself. CPAG do a, a splendid job and produce some very important fundamental titles which are of great assistance and should be available in your public libraries and of course in Citizens Advice and all the other agencies that are, are available. Now the book that we're looking at at the moment is the um, new handbook for child support for the year 2017 to 18. Uh, it's only recently come out and I'm reviewing this in the autumn of 2017. It's now in its 25th edition and it's been edited and updated by Mark Bruff. He's done a first class job because this is not one of the easiest uh, books to review. Uh, for our uh, book review, we've given it the title, The New CPAG Child Support Handbook for 2017 to 2018, Completely updated and that's exactly what you've got uh, here with this uh, book it's a paperback do be careful with the pages because they are a little bit uh, tender if I can put it that way let's have a look at the book anyway there it is it's a paperback it's a cheap book too it's not expensive there's the front there's the spine and then there's the back and you can see the details on the back if you can just probably make it out there's some quotes there's a little bit of detail about the book itself um, <clears throat> and <clears throat> obviously the logo for CPAG at the bottom. You can see there's some shaded areas in the main part of the book. That is to give you the actual indication of the chapter numbers. And you can see the final one, chapter the 14, is there. So you should be able to find things quickly. Right at the back of the book, uh, you've got the index. How to use the index. It tells you how the index is structured. It talks about page numbers and it indicates uh, with the headings what sort of question you might have which you may need an answer to. So that's really how to use the, the index itself. Then after that you've got the various appendices, quite a large number of them. And if we go to the front of the book, we've got the uh, main front page there. You see uh, 25th edition updated by Mark Bruff. Then some basic information about the CPAG in the book and the, the detail from about Mark. He's a freelance writer, previously worked for many years as a welfare rights advisor for people with learning disabilities. So he's, he's done the sort of thing I've done, which is, uh, but I've been a teacher, as well as a barrister, but a teacher with, for people with special needs. Now there are the acknowledgements, and then we've got after that the, the contents section there with all the various chapters. Um, you can see how it's run. It's not that many. And then there's the abbreviation section there. You've got the introduction. You've then got, uh, for each chapter, a little index at the beginning which shows you what's in it. And with chapter one, which I'll mention again in a minute, do look at using this handbook. There's a note about Northern Ireland arrangements as well there, in case that is relevant. Then at the back you have the notes. And the notes really are giving you the detail as in, in terms of the authoritative reference points, whether they're statutory instruments or acts of parliament, or even cases for that matter. It's basically the regulations, because this is a regulation-heavy topic. The book runs to 328 pages old, something like that. Um, it's a first-class book, and as I say, they make our lives a lot easier uh, producing this work um, and it does help because it's a difficult area at the best of times. Now what do we say about the book? Well we say this, well done Mark Bruff for your arduous journey to update this excellent new edition of the Child Support Handbook brought to us from the Child Poverty Action Group CPAG. Um, as to be expected of all CPAG uh, publications, this handbook is fully indexed and cross-referenced to legislation and case law. So you do have a definitive statement and you will find the notes and all the information uh, carefully contained in the 
um, at, the, at the back of each of the chapters and that should assist you with what you're looking for. The appendices are also helpful to give you uh, additional detail depending on what your query is. Now please also remember that um, to refer to the most recent edition of these handbooks because changes do take place and out-of-date books are quite dangerous uh, to rely on because rules are amended and uh, it's easy to uh, make a slip up um, and uh, refer to old material. So do make sure you've got the most current uh, book available. Now the 25th edition of the Child Support Handbook has been restructured by BRAF to reflect the fact that most cases are now being dealt with under the latest scheme introduced from 2012. An earlier edition rightly commented that the Child Support Handbook is the definitive guide to the Child Support Scheme as it applies throughout the UK, including Scotland. And that's exactly what you're getting from CPAG. Now, um, having said that, there's a special section about Northern Ireland which is separate, and that's covered in Chapter 1. Now, just to remind ourselves, what is child support? It's child maintenance paid by parents who do not live with their children. It's intended to reflect their legal responsibility to provide financial support for their children. The difficulties begin with how the money is paid. Some people make voluntary arrangements to pay maintenance, whilst others have arrangements made by way of court order. Now, when using this handbook, it's most useful to read through the first chapter, as I've indicated, particularly paragraph five on using this handbook, which explains the structure of the book itself and how you use it. And the handbook, being over 300 pages long, with quite a detailed index, <coughs> uh, should be actually relatively easy to navigate through, and you should be able to look and find the rules that um, that you are seeking. And um, there, because one of the problems you've got is sometimes the rules are not as easy to follow as you might like. Now, practical examples of uh, maintenance calculations and tactical hints and tips for dealing with the Child Maintenance Service and the Child Support Agency have been included. The end result uh, of a book really is a book which can uh, be widely uh, used um, <clears throat> by both advisors and unrepresented parties alike trying to understand an unnecessarily complex system uh, developed basically by bureaucrats. And it has been CPAG's mission for a while to unclog the bureaucratic elements uh, of child support and they do so brilliantly here under the editorship of Mark Bruff. Um, I'm afraid it's a fact of life that um, everything these days becomes more and more complicated and you really do need to have assistance and these books I think help. Now for those unfamiliar with the handbook the 25th edition explains the following questions you may have and this is the list of what you may be um, seeking by way of advice. How do you apply for child maintenance? The powers that the uh, Child Maintenance Service and CSA have, how maintenance is calculated, how to challenge decisions and make complaints, and what happens if you don't pay uh, child uh, support, including powers to deduct uh, money from bank accounts. It should cover most of the questions a new reader seeks answers to. Now, let me conclude by saying that I think the last word here comes from one of the past testimonials from the now defunct Solicitor's Journal, um, which said, it is quite remarkable, this, this is the handbook, for the clarity of its layout, the depth of its explanations and notes, and the accuracy of its content. These words sum up this handbook, I think, very well indeed, and most of the others which are published um, now annually by um, CPAG also fall into this category because that's exactly what you're getting and it's at an affordable price. So thank you very much to the CPAG because you make our work much easier with these publications and the law covered in the book is correct as at the 1st of March 2017. Let's just have a look at the book again. There it is. There's the front of it. Um, there's the spine and then on the back you've got the basic information. Let me open it up in the middle and just say the 1993 rules formula. Again you see that's chapter 8, there's the chapters there so you find that fairly easily. You've got a little index there and then you've got an explanation. 
there's an introduction which sets the scene and then it runs through and then it sets out the formula for instance in this particular uh, case minimum child support and so on so you do have a great deal of information as I've said at the end of each of the chapters you do have these uh, very detailed notes with reference to specific rules which of course is what this is about, and also sometimes case law. But I do think the book is very helpful indeed, and it should have everything that you require by way of a, f a first port of call. Obviously, if things are very serious, you're going to need to have a great deal more assistance and help from advisors. Anyway, thank you to everybody concerned for this book. It's an important book, and I'm very grateful to uh, be able to review it. Thank you to all. Bye-bye.